this hair has flopped my hairline is leaving my scalp is burnt my hair is orange i don't have a toner hello everyone welcome back to my channel it's lord mitch aka that i'm back with a new video and in this video i'm going to be bleaching my hair um and i'm going to be shaving it as well because i want it colored but short because right now it's grown since the last time i shaved it so i have to you know redo it so i'm about to show you the mess that lies beneath this cute little thing i got on so um this is currently my hair i haven't um cut it in a while the reason why i cut my hair mainly is because of my hairline you can see that my hairline is really badly damaged so the psoriasis has basically eaten up my hairline so i just prefer to be bold so that you can't really tell that i've got hair missing and also it's easier to maintain my scalp psoriasis when i'm bold because right now my hair it's not even that long but this length as you can see like the psoriasis gets caught in the hair like i've just got pieces of um psoriasis and it looks like I've got dandruff, but I don't. So, yeah, when my hair is shorter, it's easier for me to cope with my scalp because I don't actually use anything for my scalp because I've not found anything that has worked. Most things that I've been prescribed have been really like painful to use. They burn, they itch, all the good stuff. So I just prefer to keep my hair short and in wigs basically so the only hairstyle i can do is either bald or wig because my own natural hair if i grow it long it's just not working out so yeah i'm gonna just film the process of me bleaching my hair and shaving it so thank you so much for watching this video and i will catch you at the and mm, mm, this is the before mm. you see this girl this edgeless girl you ain't gonna know her no more mm. oh. Ow. Okay. hi guys me again so i just need to show you one last thing on my list of items that i'm using to make this whole project happen but i need to just come and step in and give a disclaimer because I am aware of how ghetto this is, but if I had another choice, another option, I wouldn't be doing this. So to mix my um, my peroxide and my powder, I will be doing that in this here pot. Yeah, it's clean, but it's all I've got. And you know, when life gives you lemons, you drink tequila. And that's what I'm doing. Ooh, I can, oh God, I can already smell it. I just wanted to say, right, bleaching my hair, my scalp, whatever, my hair. <clears throat> wow, it's probably, not probably, is one of the most painful things that I put myself through because of my psoriasis but <coughs> oh jesus toxic oh this powder has a lot in common with men just toxic it's happening it's too late to turn back now <laughs>
dye my hair, bleach my hair, blonde, blonde. Um, but it didn't work. I look like an orangutan. Look like Willy Wonka. Those little, what are they called? What are those? Oompa Loompas. My head looks like an Oompa Loompa. So I literally put myself through suffering. I technically burnt my scalp. All for nothing. Girl, this hair has flopped. My hairline is leaving. My scalp is burnt. My hair is orange. I don't have a toner. <clears throat> so I guess you could say I'm a failure. I wanted to look like even myself from what's the the type of oh, ne America's Next Top Model eh? and also Real Housewives of Atlanta. But I look like this is just what a fail. Like edges are gone. At least, you know, I got a new curl. I'm just going to start again, basically. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start fresh. Barbering by Lord Mitch. Okay. Tough time never lasts. Only tough people last. Thank you for tuning into How to Unsuccessfully Bleach and Shave Your Head. Make sure you tune in for the next episode.